In today's video, I'm going to be going over the Predator CS2 cheat. Yesterday, I did a setup guide showing you guys how to purchase and install Predator. Uh, but today, I'm going to be doing a little bit of a showcase and I'm going to show some gameplay off. If you guys do want to purchase Predator, head over to the link down below. You guys can choose your duration, so you guys choose to do one month. All you guys have to do is add this to your cart. Hit view cart at the top, and you guys can use my discount code to bring your total down 5%. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Alrighty, guys, I'm loaded up into a workshop map here just to show off the menu itself. As you guys can see, these visuals are incredible. This is not my config. I actually stole it off the forums, to be quite honest with you. Uh, but I feel like these uh, these visuals are really good. I don't know who made them, but uh, when you kill somebody, you got the little animation there, which is pretty cool to me. Starting off with the menu itself, you have the main category tab here, as you guys can see, for aimbot and trigger bot. Basically, your aimbot, it automatically aims onto the players when you look at them. You guys can change your hit groups here as well as a priority hit group. Obviously, I'm going to have it set to head. Uh, your FOV type as well. And you guys can do like auto wall, auto fire, or P-Silent name as well. I think this one's actually grayed out because it's not uh, developed yet. But anyway, RCS as well, which is your recoil script, which you guys can configure as well. Uh, filters here like friendly fire, ignore smoke or flash, and then your delays if you guys want to enable those. Trigger bot. I have this bound to my X key. So if I press X, as you guys can see on the keybind list, it turns it on. So if I look at somebody, it's going to automatically shoot. That's basically what trigger bot does. Uh, anyway. You can change the hit groups as well for that as well as your hit chance and your minimum damage filters as well like friendly fire only scoped ignore flash and smoke and your delay if you guys want to put a delay on that as well uh, your esp preview here is basically uh, how you guys can uh, configure your champs and or your esp so for example you can set up the teammates enemies yourself so for example i'm going to do teammates actually we'll do enemies here uh, so as you guys can see this health bar right here you guys can drag this on or off so health bar i'm going to drag that off and as you guys can see in the distance it's basically taking it off of the player so if i drag it back on it's going to go back on uh, you guys can make it so it shows the actual person's name what gun they're using stuff like that uh, you can make it so they're only visible chams as well or esp whatever you set it to skeleton as well if you want to have a little skeleton effect uh out of fov arrows as well if you guys want to have those as you guys can see uh chams here enable or disable those that's basically what makes this menu look pretty fucking good uh as you guys can see i'm using a black glow right here extra conditions i have not selected and if you guys hit the little wrench here it's basically where you guys can change the actual colors as you guys can see but anyway moving down here you do your uh, sound esp as well if you guys want to enable that uh you guys can go ahead and do so i'm going to keep it disabled because i don't feel that is necessary uh, but like I said, you can do self as well. For example, my hand champs. There you go. View model champs as well. Items as well. If you guys want to have uh, item ESP as well. For example, any dropped weapons on the ground. You guys can go ahead and do that. I also didn't think it could get up here. Um, that is new. I did not mean to do that. Uh, but like I said, you guys can put like a box on it. For example, uh, have a distance uh, thing here. Uh, you guys can have champs on it. For example, like I just showed you the black glow. Boom. There you guys go. I'm going to keep just a glow on because I don't think that's the ESP looks good on dropped weapons. Uh, world options here. You do have a hit effect here as well. You guys can do uh, different hit effects such as your lightning. As you guys can see, this is basically what the lightning looks. But I only have that on kill uh, because I feel that is the best. You guys can do a tombstone as well. As you guys can see there, it does like a little tombstone that pops up. Uh, you guys can do a flower. I don't know what the flower one is. Oh, that one's kind of cool actually. Um... Well, you can do skulls as well. There you guys go. You guys can do coins. I'm not sure what the... Okay. I kind of like the flower ones, actually. Honestly, I don't think I've used any cheat that has the kill effects like this, um, which is pretty cool. And these visuals are fucking immaculate, man. Uh, grenade helper there as well. Night mode as well. If you guys want to enable that, you guys can go ahead and do so. As you guys can see, you can also change the color of that as well. If you guys want to enable that, you guys can also enable your grenade trajectory prediction and warning there as well. Other here, you have a watermark. As you guys can see on the top left, it says predator. C4 timer here, as you can see right there. Uh, you guys can also do removals such as your smoke or sky boxes. You can have a sniper crosshair, hit markers, damage indicators, as well as changing your view model and your FOV circle. If you guys want to enable this, you guys can go ahead and do so. There you go. There's the default uh radial as well if you guys want to have the little radial effect and your shadow you guys want to enable that and like i said you guys can also override your fov lastly moving over here to inventories basically where you guys can add skins of choice so all you guys have to do is hit add here uh for example you want to change your knife here you click this you guys want to choose a uh we'll do a stiletto knife 
and we'll do something like uh we'll do this doppler right here i think this one's kind of cool do save and then as you guys can see there's your knife right there uh you guys can add pretty much any skin you want in the game including different agent skins uh, you guys can do medals stickers patches as well as music hits as well uh if some of these don't equip you guys might have to go to inventory up here as you guys can see it shows us like an actual item in your inventory and basically you'd click this for example and you'd hit like replace on both teams ct or t whichever you guys may prefer uh that is going to be it for that uh, and then lastly going down here you guys have your trusted mode here as well as your auto accept matches you guys can put a delay of let's say i don't know 4.5 on that that's actually pretty cool spectator list as well if you guys want to enable spectator list you guys can move that over here streamer mode as well which will hide it from obs you can preserve your kill feed up on the top right you can have your uh, external radar here or you guys can turn that off entirely if you guys don't want that you guys have your hit sounds as well if you guys want to have different hit sounds you guys can go ahead and do so as well as your chat spammer i didn't even know you could actually do this um that's actually really cool look at that best and safe cheat on the market with that being said you do have your settings here lastly where you can save or load config settings here as well you guys can change your background color uh, you can also enable these little particles i think you guys should be able to see them and you guys can lastly change your uh, menu bind and you can also unload the menu entirely if you guys want to do so uh, with that being said i'm actually going to switch into a match and i'll be right back but i'm now loaded up into a death match here just to show you guys how uh this fucking cheat actually functions uh oh god Midnight has pretty good visuals and meme sense has pretty good chams and ESP, but I gotta say, I think Predator is my new favorite. I mean, the lightning bolt effect when you kill somebody is really cool. And these chams are cool, man. Like, fucking almost on fatality level. Look at them. Also, this cheat functions really well. This actually might be my favorite uh, cheat now. Or legit cheat, I should say. Also, I'm thinking about doing some more fatality content, like going live like I used to, um, you know, like rage streams. But uh, I mean, in terms of like making videos on fatality, I mean, that's a possibility. Maybe a primordial. I'm not really sure yet, though. I mean, uh, if you guys want me to review any cheats, let me know as well down below. Uh, try to get some more content other than just showcases out on the channel. I know a lot of you guys want to see something new. Uh, just give me some ideas down below of what you guys are actually looking for. And I can try to make some of that happen. But for the sake of this video, that is going to be it for the showcase. Uh, I do really enjoy this cheat, and I actually am probably going to do some more uh, upcoming videos with it, showing it off in more of like a uh, prime, in more of like a competitive scenario, such as like wingman or like an actual like five v five match. If you guys do enjoy this video, leave a like and a comment down below. Uh, like I said, if you guys aren't sure how to actually install this, I will leave a setup guide video down below, which I made yesterday. Uh, but that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.